So as I mentioned, I think it was earlier this week that Yannick Sinner was looking at changing some things in his coaching team and he's firing some coaches. And he's come out with a statement talking about who he's actually uh, parted ways with in terms of his coaching. So here it is. This is Yannick Sinner's statement over on Twitter. Uh, yesterday he wrote, uh, after many successful years together, my coaching team and I have decided to part ways. Uh, I'd like to thank Ricardo, Delabor, Claudia, Andrea, Christian, and Gaia for everything they have done for me from the beginning of my career until now. Ricardo especially, he taught me many things that will forever remain a part of my tennis. Uh, many special memories were made and I'll always look back on the time we spent together fondly. So there you go, Yannick Sinner changing up his coaching team. And that's the crazy thing is that he didn't just get rid of his coach. He all right, so uh, we've got some breaking news as well. I thought I'd just cut into the edit for a second and just do this a little bit more raw, but uh, Yannick Sinner's actually announced a new coach. So a new coach, uh, he hasn't replaced all the other members, but the coach, he has a new coach. Uh, let's read out the statement that he wrote only on Twitter about uh, seven or so hours ago. This is what he wrote on Twitter about six or seven hours ago. Happy to announce I'll be working with Simone Vagnozzi as my coach moving forward, and he'll be heading up my team. Currently, we have no plans to add any more members at this time, but we will review the situation as we go. Excited to get started on this new chapter, Forza. There you go, Yannick Sinner adding a new coach, but uh, there's still a lot of members. He did part ways with a lot of members, but let's get back to the video and uh, have a bit of a chat about it. Uh, let me know in the chat, let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think this is a bad move for Sinner to do at the start of a season? I know, you know, usually this kind of coaching changes happen over the off season. It's happened, you know, two months into the season, We've got a long way to go, and Yannick Sinner's not only got rid of the coach, but he's got rid of about like five people, so that's a big, big change. I don't know, I feel like Sinner might, might struggle in the short term, maybe a couple of tournaments, he might lose a little bit earlier than we'd expect, maybe some upsets on the way, because that's a big change to a massive, uh, to his coaching team. Let me know uh, in the chat, let me know in the comments. Do you think this is a bad move for Sinner this early on in the season?